We first told you about little Aubrey Scaletta, who lost both her feet in a freak accident and how she defied the odds by performing in the holiday classic ballet, The Nutcracker. Tonight, we hear from the doctors who performed the surgery to reattach Aubrey's feet. 10 News reporter Duke Carter shows us her road to recovery. Where did the kiss mark come from? This is now seven-year-old Aubrey Scaletta backstage waiting with her sister for that moment to beat the odds. The twins are part of the Nutcracker performing as a bonbon. It's unbelievable um, where she's come in the last few months. Proud parents Dan and Lauren Scaletta are smiling anxiously waiting for their daughter to take the stage. Reminded of that terrible day when Aubrey's life would change, the difficult road to recovery and the difficulty Aubrey faced. She was riding with me when it happened. Aubrey's dad, Dan, was driving the twins home from gymnastics practice in May when the unimaginable happened. It sounded like a big just bang. Um, truck shuddered and wasn't really sure what happened. Uh, Next thing you know, Aubrey's sitting directly behind me. She says, I'm bleeding. Dan Scaletta says the girls were playing with the ratchet strap in the back seat when it somehow flew out of the window. One end wrapped around the truck's axle and the other end wrapped around Aubrey's feet, ripping them off. Thank the Lord we were only two miles from the hospital. Aubrey was then immediately airlifted to Carillion Roanoke Memorial, where she would face emergency surgery. When we first had the surgeries, it was always very, don't get your hopes up. I've never had a case where there was no planning and that it was unexpected. Dr. Peter Apel, an orthopedic surgeon, worked in the medical profession for eight years. He performed specialties like nerve repair and reconstruction in the hand. I had just finished dinner with my family um, when they called and told me about the situation. I said, her best chance is now with us. Delays in care, if she were transferred, if we um, fooled around with getting her upstairs into surgery, those, those, those hours end up decreasing the chances of success. Apel helped lead a team of about 15 who worked on Aubrey's feet. And Apel tells me he's never really performed a surgery like this before. And I said, all of you are about to participate in something special. This is a case of a lifetime. And I don't know if it's going to be successful or not. I had to lead everything. So I had two surgeons on one leg and two surgeons on another leg, and I had to go back and forth and tell them, I need you to do this, I need you to do that. Apel says the simple part was reattaching the feet. The more difficult part that he says took about four hours was reconnecting all of Arby's blood vessels. The blood vessels are very small in a child. The nerves are very small, and they have to be sewn together with suture that's as small as a human hair. But after about six hours, doctors were done. We had reached a point where the feet were viable, but especially the right, it was unclear whether it was gonna make it or not. The only reason we stopped is because we were able to look each other in the eye and say, we've done everything. And slowly, Aubrey began to show improvements. To start off, it was, you know, very iffy. Um, you know, every time the doctor came in and checked toes, you're just, holding your breath we talked about pneumonia and complications from that and then infection and it was just it it was at every turn there was something new to worry about and uh that's that's gotten better dr rappel says after two weeks of aubrey recovery and no infection is when doctors saw success aubrey's parents say it's when she started physical therapy is when they saw her truly heal with every physical therapy appointment, every time she's like, oh, I, I did this. I went up four steps last time. After multiple surgeries and weeks of therapy, Aubrey finally went home. That, that was, was terrifying. Then we became the nurses and she didn't like us as much. <laughs> Once Aubrey got home, she was determined to do the things she loved, like performing in the holiday ballet. Mom and dad watching in the crowd as Aubrey surprised everyone, used a walker. Her willpower and her strength is just beyond <laughs> anything you can imagine. Now, the Scalettas are extremely grateful for the community's support. And as far as little Aubrey, doctors say after the surgery, one of her legs is now slightly longer than the other. And at some point, she'll have to have another surgery to correct that. Reporting in studio, Duke Carter, 10 News, working for you.